Welcome back. We are here looking at the foreign exchange market, and this is going to be my daily forecast for the foreign exchange market for Monday, November 16, 2020. If you'd like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And we do have a um, signal service over at Patreon, where over 70 traders are trading at this point. And you also get full access to all our trades and all our full technical analysis for the commodities market. So let's look at the um, Great British Pound and the US dollar. And as you can see, we rallied quite significantly on the Friday session. And this is mainly due to the uh, depreciation of the US dollar. So we uh, did decline for on Wednesday and also on, on Thursday. This was mainly due to the appreciation of the US dollar then we started depreciating again, and then we saw this candlestick here. So at this moment, we probably will go a little bit sideways. And the reason why I say that is because these technical indicators are fairly mixed at this point. I was expecting us to have a pullback towards the 50 moving average, which I still think it is possible. Um, but we need to see the US dollar index start appreciating again. And uh, we'll probably have one or more two day, uh, days of a, of a depreciation before we can see that happen. So at this point, MACD is, is bullish, the RSI is bullish, the CCI is technically flat. The stochastic is, um, is bearish at this point, and so is the, the bullish band is basically pointing to lower levels. And that is what we what I think is going to happen in next week. We'll probably go sideways a little bit before going uh, towards the 50 moving average at 12 and 96. So, US dollar yen, this is one of the more profitable trades of last week because we entered here. For the people that were uh, basically on uh, traders were on Patreon, I basically gave a signal to buy the sell here. And at this mo moment, we are basically uh, right trading underneath the uh, 20 exponential moving average. The technical indicators for this market are very bearish at this point. We are most likely going to see um, a gradual decline towards the lower part of this uh, of this channel here, which we have been in for several months now. So I like trading channels because they're very predictable. We have the highs, we have the lows, and every single time we hit the highs, we're going to the lows, and every time we hit the lows, we're going to the highs. So at this point the technical indicators are all turning around and they are very, very, very bearish at this point. So expect lower levels or choppings to the side and then going back into lower levels. So no, basically no interest in basically buying this because we are basically now trending back down. So Euro US dollar, we hit the 50 moving average on Thursday and then rallied again. And also here, it is due to the uh, depreciation of the US dollar. And at this point, we probably will see a retest of these highs or these highs. So this is a market that is basically in the middle of nowhere at the point. Um, if we get back to this level here, turn around, then it is a selling opportunity. Otherwise, uh, buying opportunity was here at the 50 moving average. Uh, I was expecting this to break and go back to these very lows, but we turned around at the 50 moving average. At this point, point um, indicators are looking very bullish, actually, uh, apart from the stochastic. But the MACD, RSI, and CCI uh, are pointed to higher levels, and the stochastic has turned around. And when it crosses the signal line, we are going to higher levels. But we need to break this uh, these highs here in order to go significantly higher so aussie dollar us dollar we started um, shorting this here and um, around in this area here um, we had a pullback uh, towards uh, the 50 moving average or the 20 expansion moving average but on the friday session we had a rally but this rally didn't basically pierce the previous highs so we could basically be turning around here and at this point we are still our bot, we are at 70 or 70 points to zero. So it's um, it's on the edge of being our bot. MACD is basically turning around. CCI is, is looking very negative and so is the stochastic. So this is, in my view, a very short-term pullback. But 
we are going to head towards at least the 20 uh, moving average. Um, you can see it here on the Bollinger Band at uh, 0.716. And then we head to the 50 moving average. And if that breaks, then we go to these very lows at the 150 moving average. No interest in basically buying this because these indicators are, they are very bearish for this market. Even though we have one more day of, of a bullish run, that only means that the RSI will be even more bought, overbought and that the, the decline will be that more aggressive. So US dollar count, we are now seeing signs of, of weakness. This is a market that could basically start, we could basically start shorting this market because, well, we are basically in a downtrend. Every single um Every single uh, bullish run uh, following by a, a, a bearish candle is a possibility to short this market. Similar to this, we'll go down. And similar to this, we also went down and down and down. And that's how this market basically reacted at this moment. The only problem I have with this market is that we are still very low in the RSI. So I would prefer going a little bit higher towards these, these previous highs getting the RSI higher and then being able to short it. But at this point, we could be going back towards these lows, but that only means that RSI will be significantly oversold and then will not go as far as I um, expected or basically wanted to go. Technical indicators for this are, they are fairly bullish at this point. So you just have to see, but this is an encouraging sign that we could start selling this again. So no interest in buying, buying this. This is basically selling selling the rallies. So hope you find this video helpful. You're welcome to support the channel by subscribing. Hit the like button and the bell button in order to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon, where we all now have around 70 active traders. And you'll get full access to our all of our trades and also our full technical analysis. So good luck and thank you very much.